Hello and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This video is a walkthrough of how to get 3 stars in Urban Bungle for 2 point campers. This is one of 3 campuses that unlock when you 1 star Pebbly Ruins and Upper Etching and this is the 11th campus I have completed and it will be dealing with 4 classes at the same time, Robotic, Scientography, Virtual Normality and Internet History. That means your campus will have to be very large with the academic demands every year, so you really have to be steady with the money. The first year spent on making a normal functioning campus with basic rooms with everything you need. Always leave the last four months to not spend anything so you have money to meet the academic requirements. After about two or three years, because of the large demands of having four classes and upgrading the classes using campus coins, you will get so much money a month in profit you can relax and start to work on everything else. To make more money, especially at the start, make sure your dormitories have 10 beds and room level 13 to get max rent and helps with the one star tasks. And this campus is a hot campus, so you have to make sure there's air conditioning and turn all the red areas into yellow or orange. If it turns blue, it's too cold. The one star task is you have to upgrade 10 items and you will have a few rooms like the lecture rooms already ready to be upgraded. You have to build a research room for one of the tasks, but wait until you've built everything you need. First as a priority as the research room is a costly room. The second task is to research the School of Thought course, a new course you can use in your campuses. This takes about two academic years, or maybe three, it felt like it anyway. But before you do, you might want to research the upgrades first to work on the upgrade 10 items, and the upgraded classrooms will help with the two-star tasks to have level 13 students. The third task is to have a dormitory rating of 90%. This is having enough beds for students, which is one bed for every five students. When you first build your dormitory, like I have mentioned, having a big dormitory with 10 beds and room rating 13 for max rent, and this will complete the task. But when you get more students come in every year, it will go back down and copy your room every time it goes below 100% to keep up with it. The final task is get 40,000 profit. This is easy enough and will come naturally by year three. You will get about 100,000 a month, and this will tick off a two-star task as well before you know it. At this point in the game I have unlocked the achievement for curing all the illnesses that showed up in Two Point Hospital. If you've been doing every campus so far you should get this as well. When you have to start to treat people it's always a good idea to have first aid room in every campus. Also got the achievement for completing 50 projects. This is cumulative and it's always a good idea while playing all your campuses to always research everything as much as you can. Just at the end of year 4 the project finally completed and completed the one tar tasks. Now I will give you an overview of my campus so far. It's pretty big and it doesn't run smoothly yet. Still have to keep an eye on students wanting to drop out. In the boot club since I was a boy and this is my fifth attempt at the salty menstrual. Here in the existing area I have extended the campus. Did two big dormitories, a big student union, I have got three pastoral rooms and four first aid rooms to keep up with demand as you get so many students, and most of the classrooms has items that helps with a learning boost. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. The top area is mostly classrooms with a library and I'm going to put in a second library to keep up with demand. Then an extremely large area with two plots combined for more classrooms and student facilities. Don't forget to put a couple of staff rooms around and as you can see there are still more large academic requirements. So I'm going to buy the plot directly to the right and join onto this room. And you can see the two star tasks are almost complete already. Before I start the new year I'm going to up all my room levels and put in attractive items everywhere. You can go to the bottom left menu and click on the eye menu and click on attractiveness then fill all grey spaces with attractive items to turn into green. Posters and rugs for inside and duck hedges for the outside are the cheapest, but if you've got plenty of money, use more expensive items.
It took just less than one academic year before all the tests were complete. Hire three more janitors or more. Depends on how many you've got to make sure all the litter is picked up. Also, no rival students to get rid of, so you won't need janitors for security and put plenty of bins around. Here is an overview of the campus past two stars. See what I did there? As you can see, most rooms have been upgraded and posters and rugs are everywhere to get the attractiveness up. And this made most of the students happy, so I didn't need to manually put them in pastoral or medic rooms. The campus was mostly automated and I didn't need to put any more of those types of rooms. Before the academic year ended, after doing two stars, three star tasks are nearly done already. You need to have a level 25 campus, and this is the biggest level of campus I have done so far. And for a late game campus, this was really easy to get three stars. You have to get 100 A students to graduate, and with the amount of students you will have in your campus, and if all your classrooms and lecture rooms are upgraded, keep using the research room to research any more upgrades that you need and put in items in the rooms that help with learning skills and keep training teachers while you're waiting remember to train the four different academic teachers to level five you get in this campus to go towards the achievement while you're waiting i got 68 in one year and the rest the second year i managed for once to maintain happiness during the academic year remember everything affects their happiness the campus needs to be clean and with air con plenty of beds food drink and entertainment and don't forget the happiness goes up significantly during summer break and the profit of 80,000 is easy enough i was getting up to 150,000 profit a month good dormitories and a massive campus will help with this the only thing i did to the campus was to put more mandatory academic requirements so i extended the big section to the right with another plot then added the usual rooms and another library as well to help with demands and students to A-level. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, where there are more strategy game videos. Also, the channel has achievement and trophy guides, secret and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.